In this Goo Chat review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this software. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Goo Chat. Now, Goo Chat is a software that elevates customer support. This is what you should see once you have pretty much signed up to the software, whether you're first logging in or just again, first signing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show this page real quick so we can go ahead and see what happens for beginners when they're first signing in and then jump into the main workspace of this software. So once you first signed up, it should tell you to add your new domain. You can go ahead and implement your name and your domain name right here where you can go ahead and start then working on your workspace. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and just name this review for the sake of this review. And then for the domain name, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a domain name that I can use. So once you've implemented your name and then your domain name, it should then click submit and then take you to this page where you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven step process. Pretty easy and straightforward overall just for you to go ahead and start pretty much setting up your workspace and what you'll be doing within the software. So for the first section is support offer. Now it should ask you what customer support will you offer. And this just goes ahead and kind of gets a grasp on this software and gets a grasp around what you actually are offering to your customers in terms of support. So it's a pretty really great feature that I personally think is incredible because again, you can go ahead and kind of just generate it and make sure it actually correlates to what you're doing. So you've got live chat settings where you've got a header and subheader for your live chat settings. And then you've got FAQ settings, tutorial settings, and that's pretty much it. So three different sections for you to go ahead and set up for your customer support. So you can go ahead and enter your header for you to go ahead and have your live chat header, which we're gonna go ahead and just type in review. Same with your subheader, you can go ahead and say, you can quickly solve some common questions as it says here. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish filling that out. And then same with the FAQ settings for the message and sub message as well. And you can also implement your categories if you wanna go ahead and have FAQ categories. And then finally, you've got your tutorial settings where you can go ahead and enable a search and categories for you to go ahead and also do the same thing. So it's a very simple process. There's not really too much you need to go ahead and do to go ahead and actually set this up. But once you are happy with it, you can go ahead and click next. Next, it should then take you onto the design section. Now, not a lot of softwares or not a lot of softwares that offer customer support settings offer this, but it's really great and a huge, really great feature where you can go ahead and actually design your widget for you to go ahead and actually offer your customer support. So you can go ahead and design the background color, default agents, chat position, and the select icon. So let's say we're gonna go ahead and actually create a customer support that has kind of like a chat base to it. You might want to go ahead and select this kind of speech bubble icon, maybe even just a heart icon, etc. You can go ahead and select any icon that actually correlates to you. Same with your background color. So obviously everyone's different. Go ahead and select a color that you enjoy. Or if you don't enjoy any of these ones, you can go ahead and select this and pick your own color. Maybe you have a brand color that you want to go ahead and pick. Again, a pretty great feature that this includes for you to go ahead and just make it customizable to you. So I'm going to go ahead for a background color and I'm just going to go with this blue one because I think it's a pretty nice color. Then for the default agents, you can go ahead and just select your account that you've gone ahead and actually added to the software. And then your chat position, whether you want it in the bottom left corner, bottom right corner, we're going to go with the bottom left. And as you can see now in this bottom left corner, I have that chat icon with the background color. And finally, I can change the icon to that, to that, etc go ahead and select which one you prefer i'm just going to go ahead and leave it with this because i think that icon that we've just created right there is actually a pretty good icon so far so once you're happy with all of your settings for you to go ahead and customize your widget you can click next next moving on to the next step is the chat flow section now on the chat flow section you can go ahead and actually just create pop-up messages or just messages that go ahead and keep the chat flowing Pretty self-explanatory, there's not too much to go ahead and go through here. You can go ahead and type in your pop-up message and your user email message. So there's two different sections that you can go ahead and type out to any message you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change this for the sake of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put hi, welcome to this review. Pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So once you go ahead and select this, you can go ahead and see it comes up in the bottom left-hand corner where it says, do you have a question? I'm here to help you. Very good, very straightforward, and very easy to go ahead and set up, which is again a pretty huge feature I love about the software. I kind of just really love how softwares like this are very straightforward, easy to set up, very minimalistic, 
and it's good for beginners, professionals, and everyone in between. Overall, I think it's great. So once you're happy with that, you can click next, and next, move on to the availability section. Now this is just a section where you can go ahead and change the availability that you have for your customer support hours or time frame. Now you can go ahead and select your time zone to obviously make sure that you know what times are what, and then you can also change your working hours from days two different times in that day, then your availability behavior, and then that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the time zone the same because obviously that is the right time zone for me. And then you can also change your working hours. So let's go ahead and just change it to Tuesday and then say it's from 10 a.m. to leave it as 5 p.m. We now have our working day, Tuesday, 10 to five, pretty much added. If you wanna add a new time, just select this kind of box icon right here and it adds another day for you to go ahead and change the settings to. With the availability behavior, same thing, you can go ahead and change the available message. Whether you are actually going ahead and you're busy, you can go ahead and change the messages for that. And then which email to go ahead and send tickets to. Once you click next and you're happy with all of that, it should next take you to the preview section. Now this is now your preview section where you can go ahead and preview everything you have created throughout the steps so far. So you can preview on desktop, tablet, mobile, you can go ahead and change different types of previews you want to go ahead and preview your kind of icon on. So now in the bottom left hand corner you can see we've got the question, we've got the help icon, and everything is designed and customized to my liking. So overall, this setup section is a huge help. I can't get over how easy it is to go ahead and set it. Step by step, you just follow the steps pretty much customizing it to your own options and own likeliness. And then overall, you then end up with a great chat bot or a great chat section for you to go ahead and use for customer support. So overall, again, very straightforward and I personally really love this setup section. So once you're happy with the preview, personally, I think it's pretty great. I don't really need to change anything. You can go ahead and select next and you should be pretty much done with your creation and customization of your chat or your chat icon and it then tells you to go ahead and install it to your website. So for the installation, you go ahead and select HTML or WordPress, whether you wanna go ahead and install it in different ways. This just then gives you your code for your kind of chat section. You can go ahead and copy it if you need to do that. Select which pages to include, and then once you're happy with it, click save. And there we go, it takes us to the main workspace section, or pretty much once you've gone ahead and set up your customer support chat icon, it takes you to this section, where you can go ahead and see the different ones for different places. So the domain that I used is now here with the icon we just created. And if I click these three dots, I can edit it and delete it. And if I click view details, I can go ahead and see all the details that will be coming through this customer support icon. Like the chat right here, any people that go ahead and actually request customer support, you can actually manage it and see it all right here. You can see the chat, the automation, if you want to go ahead and create automation templates, reports, which is pretty much the analytics, and then finally your settings that we don't really need to go through because we went ahead and set it up already. So in the chat section is pretty self-explanatory. It's a customer support chat section. Again, anyone who goes ahead and actually messages your customer support chat section, you can reply to them here, solve their problems, go ahead and actually just get someone else to go ahead and actually solve the problems for you pretty much manage it all right here. Same with the automation section, you can go ahead and actually just select templates in case some questions that people are asking just can be automated. And it's usually just an automated answer that kind of varies on a broad range. So to set up this template, I'm gonna go through it really quickly. You can just select create new template. Now you name your chatbot flow, which I'm gonna go ahead and call it reviews. Click submit. And then we now have the templates that we can go ahead and use. So once you click manage, you can now manage your chatbot flow depending on what questions people ask. So you can go ahead and add different steps, click message type, and then you can add the content to your message depending on what people say. So if we click add content, we can add typing animations, text, image galleries, emojis, images, GIFs, videos, and audio. So a huge variety to choose from. We're gonna go ahead and stick to typing animation since most people or most bots usually reply in typing. Once you click typing animation, you can actually select your typing delay, and then click save. You can then also add your next step and then pretty much just keep adding steps and actions for you to go ahead and actually start giving good customer support to your customers when they go ahead and actually chat with your chatbot. Once you choose an action, you get all these different types of blocks from button links to button steps to live chat, ask for email, end chat, etc. depending on what people go ahead and ask. So let's say someone asks for a problem and we want their email you would click ask for user email as an action and then obviously type in a message that asks for that email. So I put in, can I have your email? And I click save and we now have our flow of our bot. So overall, that's how straightforward this is. 
you'd have to spend a lot of time to go ahead and manage every section to make sure it applies to you and how people are obviously message your customer support. But go ahead, spend a good amount of time to making sure that your flow actually works properly but this is just the simplistic version of it. And finally, all the way back at this page, we have the reports. Now, if people are messaging your customer support, messaging your chatbot, et cetera, all of your reports, analytics, statistics, data, whatever you want to call it would appear here. We've got total chats, chat solved, widget impressions, and widget open. So the three impressions is me previewing it and opening the details. And then you can go ahead and actually just see your chat analytics here. Agents overview in case anyone's actually certain to handle in certain situations. And then overall, just a very well laid out workspace for you to go ahead and use to make sure you actually help your customers within your customer support. Overall, I think this report section is absolutely brilliant and really easy to read and use for anyone who wants to go ahead and read it. And there you go. That is it for the Goo Chat software review. Overall, I think this is definitely an insane software for going ahead and customizing your customer support section. There's a couple of features that I personally really love and those features is how straightforward it is, how easy it is to use and just how well this whole workspace and setup is laid out in general. I love how easy it was to set up and I just love the whole type of this software and whole way it works overall. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Definitely one of the best softwares out there for customer support and I would definitely recommend this to anyone who needed a customer support workspace. And finally, would I use this myself? Absolutely use this myself if I ever needed to go ahead and create a customer support section. Overall, 10 out of 10 software and I would use it again. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.